Now we have a second problem, which requires both multiplying and dividing in the same problem. Again, we will solve it by first multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction that's divided. When we do, we have x squared minus 1 over x squared minus x minus 6 times 2x squared minus x minus 15 over 3x squared minus x minus 4. And now we multiply by the reciprocal, 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 over 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. Before we're allowed to do any reducing, we're going to need to factor each numerator and denominator so that we can divide out common factors. In the numerator of the first fraction, you notice we have a difference of squares. This will always factor to the sum and difference of the square roots, x plus 1 times x minus 1. In the denominator, we can use the AC method, multiplying to negative 6, adding to negative 1. This is done with 2 and 3, if the 3 is negative. And because we have a 1 in front of x squared, we can use those numbers in our factors, x plus 2 times x minus 3. In the center, we're multiplying to 2 times negative 15, or negative 30, and adding to negative 1. This will be done with 6 and 5, if the 6 is negative. Because we have a 2x squared, we need to be a little more careful as we build our factors. 2x squared is 2x times x. On the outside, 2x is multiplied by something to get negative 6. It must be negative 3. On the inside, x is multiplied by something to give us 5. Must be positive 5. Similarly, we can factor the denominator using the AC method, multiplying to negative 12 and adding to negative 1. This is done with 4 and 3, if the 4 is negative. Again, we will be careful with our factors. To get 3x squared, we need 3x times x. 3x is multiplied by something to give us 3. This is 3x times 1. In the center, x times something must equal the other number, negative 4. Now to factor the last fraction. In the numerator, we're multiplying to ac, or negative 24, and adding to 2. This is done with 6 and 4, if the 4 is negative. We get our 3x squared from 3x times x. 3x is multiplied by something to give us 6. 3x times positive 2 is 6. In the center, x is multiplied by something to get negative 4. It must be negative 4. Similarly, in the denominator, when we multiply to ac, we get negative 10 over 3. This must be 5 and negative 2. We build our last set of factors. To get 2x is 2x times x. 2 had to be multiplied by something to get negative 2. It must be negative 1. In the center, x is multiplied by something to give 5. It must be positive 5. Finally, we have gone through and factored each of these fractions, and can divide out any common factors in the numerator and denominator. The x plus 1's we find in the numerator and denominator. Same with the x plus 2. We also find an x minus 1 and an x minus 3. There is also a 2x plus 5 and a 3x minus 4. Notice everything is divided out of this fractions. This does not mean the answer is 0, but rather, when everything divides out, we're left with a 1 in the numerator and a 1 in the denominator. And 1 over 1 will reduce to 1. It is very important as we reduce, we must factor all the polynomials first to find common factors.